I'm Naomi Wolf, and I wrote the book Vagina, a new biography. I've always been interested in female sexuality, all the way through my work, from the beauty myth to promiscuities, which looks at how girls grow up, you know, being sexualized in Western culture. A fascinating thing that emerges is that the frame we have around the vagina is very recent and very, very negative. We sort of take for granted that it's going to either be medicalized or demeaned and kind of ridiculous. When women in the West began to be educated and began to clamor for their rights, immediately gynecological and obstetric industry arose that was determined to keep women ignorant about their bodies as a form of social control. When a woman is thinking about sex, thinking about pleasure, thinking about reward, right, it activates the reward system in the brain, her brain gets boosts of dopamine. It goes to energy, motivation, focus. It's an absolutely integral part of women's empowerment um, so that when you disrespect the vagina, you're really disrespecting women. I grew up in a tiny microclimate in which everyone was a feminist. Regularly, I'm asked, what about young women who believe in equality but who shy away from calling themselves feminists? All these young women who shy away from the F word, they are fighting for their rights. And they're reading feminist material and they're thinking feminist thoughts. I mean, a feminist thought is, I don't want to be raped, I don't want to be demeaned, I don't want to be paid less than a man. Um, and men are thinking feminist thoughts. So the world really has transformed itself, even though it can be frustrating that uh, we don't all share a vocabulary. <laughs>